all right guys uh jen and i have been up here for a long time we're heading down state for a couple days and the water tank's almost empty there's only like a couple inches in it because it's snowed but not rained and it hasn't there's not been a lot of precipitation anyway but uh the tank is pretty dirty from you know this this filter sock gets out the big stuff but it doesn't get out all that little crap so i'm probably gonna get some better filters this year especially when we hook up the permanent system but i'm just scooping it out right now or swishing it around i'm gonna put a little bleach in it stir it all up and then drain it completely here's what it looks like inside So I started up on that side. I need to scrub this side closer to me. Uh, like I said, I just... Okay, so this is like all last summer too. So I'm just stirring this up. I'm going to open the big valve. And pour a little bit of bleach in here too. So guys, if you use bleach to kill stuff, or sanitize water even, uh, in small amounts, I don't know what the appropriate amounts are, I think it's like six or eight drops per gallon of water, two drops per gallon of water, something like that. Uh, maybe, you know, look it up, but uh, to make it drinking worthy, if you're gonna do that. But uh, if you do use any kind of bleach, make sure you do not use the scented kind or the splashless kind or any of that other stuff that has additives in it because the splashless stuff will foam up and the scented stuff will also foam up and it just it does it does its job still but it leaves residue behind uh you know we use bleach in my industry of where when i work uh, my business we use bleach chlorine stuff like that uh and we used to use just plain bleach bleach for stuff but we have to be careful or tell people to be careful uh, when they use bleach now because of all the different types of bleach, you know. So this make sure you use the plain Jane plain stuff so it doesn't mess up anything. I'm gonna hit this pretty hard with a couple cups. Uh, because it's gonna be completely empty when I'm done. Thanks. Did a good job. So guys, I don't know if I was recording any of that. I scrubbed this out real nice. I put a couple cups cups of bleach in it. Uh, the bottom was full of dirt and had some algae growing in it. This has been sitting since last. I don't know, September, October, August maybe even. So I bleached it real good. Stirred it up, and this is the first time it's been dumped. All right, guys, so that's good for now. I stuck the brush in there, stirred it up, put a couple cups of bleach in there, and dumped the couple inches of water that was in there. I hope I had the camera on. <laughs> so, otherwise I just wasted 20 minutes of my time showing you guys. So, all right, now I'm gonna work on the uh, pecs. I'm gonna run pecs from the bathroom area over to the kitchen. Uh, get some water lines in. The kitchen uh, faucet area pretty exciting all right guys i have the water tank all set had the gutter siliconed up i am running a couple of lines from over by the bathroom over this way 
I have the two lines going into the bathroom that are hanging down underneath there. All I need to do is run a line from that corner or underneath the bathroom where I'm going to have my little pump house and everything for the water system. It's going to be right underneath there. I'm going to run them over here to the kitchen, come up into the cabinet. Alright guys, let's see if I can get Peck's line to come up to Jenny in the sink area. Can you see if this is anywhere close to coming out by you? Coming through the left hole. That's it? Sweet. All right, I want like a little bit up there. I could always shorten it. It's like over a foot up there, right? Alright guys, I ran the hot water line all the way under the cabin and I realized I didn't turn the camera on. <laughs> so I'm going to go back over there and run the cold water line back this way. Alright guys, I got two lines all the way from underneath the bathroom where I'm going to have my filtration of some sort and pump of some sort and uh, yeah they're running over to the kitchen sink pretty easy peasy next step is connecting all these drains but I'm not doing that right now I'm doing that another day Are you in class? I just need to get this line in. I didn't know if you could try to direct me again. Oh, shoot. Try to direct me again. You're right. Can you could you get a screwdriver in the middle of the tube? Got it? Yeah. Thank you.
All right, guys. It's been five days since I planted everything. And we got some stuff coming up. We got some cucumbers. Those are some tomatoes we got going on. And we got lots of flowers. Yay! I love it. All wildflowers. They went nuts, which is great. They're going to look awesome. Then I got lots of sunflowers too. So I'll be transplanting these here into bigger containers so they can get a little more established. But lots and lots of sunflowers. I got a few more tomatoes coming up here. And the rest just isn't coming yet, which is okay. It's nice and humid in here, so that's good. So, let them grow and see what it looks like another four or five days.